Exchange traded funds are very popular now with a lot of investors, or ETFs as they're called. They allow you to diversify over an entire market sector. But here's what caught our eye. The amount of money investors pumped into ETFs hit a new record in 2012, $187 billion. That's far more than the previous record set back in 2008. So is this where you should be investing? Wayne Kaufman, Chief Market Analyst of John Thomas Financial, joins me now. So ETFs, a lot of mutual fund, or a lot of financial advisors like them because they're cheaper than actively managed mutual funds. And you have some interesting insights into this whole debate. You know, actively managed mutual funds, or do you just buy some kind of sector fund or an ETF? You say mutual fund managers don't do what you think they do. Well, a, a lot of them don't. And they're, in all fairness, there are many who are very good and they outperform their benchmark indexes. But too many of them are closet indexers. They just want to mirror the benchmark and they essentially get paid for doing nothing. So let's, uh, let's explain a little bit. Closet indexers, meaning they buy everything in the index. Let's say they buy the S&P 500. They're a large cap mutual fund. Uh, so they buy everything in the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is up 14% as it was. They're up 14%. Everything's great. That's right, and they get paid their fees. And investors have figured this out, and that's why so much money is going into the ETFs. And that's not the only reason, though. Well, that's not the only reason, but they're cheaper. I mean, the fees are typically lower. The than The fees actually, are the fees are lower, and it it makes sense. Investors are smart for doing that. Um, mutual fund managers frequently need to own so much they're over diversified so they can't really outperform but there are some who do so if investors though if they buy broad based ETFs then they have exposure to the market and it's hopefully for them not as volatile but if they buy sector or even one level lower industry group ETFs they may be surprised at the amount of volatility that they still have to put up with all right, here's what I like you're bullish for next for this year I say next year but it's next year <laughs> it's this, this year. year it's 2013 why? Uh, a, a tremendous amount of reasons, but uh, first and foremost, uh, towards the end of last year when everybody was worried about the fiscal cliff, uh, I saw that certain indexes, small cap, mid cap, uh, transportation indexes, they were uh, going to close the year at all-time yearly closing highs. The Nasdaq marketplace was going to close the year at its best level in 12 years. This Can't is, argue with that. And, and so all these people who <laughs> sold during December, now they're buying back. Um, so there's, there's a lot of, of... But aren't you worried about all this debate going on in Washington, the debt ceiling, uh, defense spending, sequestration, on and on and on? They have a negative impact when we were talking about uh, the fiscal cliff in December. Do you think those things, yes. things will hold the market back? Po policy mistakes are my number one concern, and that's from Washington policy. But the market here is at a very important inflection point. This, is, this, is, uh, this could be what I call the point of recognition. Valuations in the market yeah. based on bond yields versus equity yields since August of 2011 when Europe was giving big problems, they rose to levels never before seen which showed tremendous fear on the part of investors. Right now they're back in the lower part of that uh, of that range. If we can break through that, it shows that investors will not be demanding as much of a risk premium as they have been. That would be very bullish for the market. And I'm, I think there's a very good chance we see all time highs this year all right. in uh, the S&P and in Give the Give me Dow. one sector name you like and then we got to go. Well, I'm, I didn't get compliance approval for a name, but I'm, I'm very uh, I'm bullish on financials and on consumer. All right, that gives us a lot to chew over and mull over. Wayne, thanks for coming on tonight. You're very welcome. Really appreciate it. Happy New Year. Same to you.